entertainment for Wolfsburg's Autostadt. More than 70 artists from around the world have helped put together the birthday party. Celebrations continue around the clock, and the focus is not on fancy receptions for VIPs and speeches by politicians. Instead, Volkswagen decided to invite the kinds of people who come here anyway. It's not really our job to roll out the red carpet and receive guests of state, maybe because of what Volkswagen is. Volkswagen didn't invent the automobile, but it certainly helped bring it to the people. So we feel a strong connection to them, and especially to families. So we've invited them all. The weekend of celebrations offered visitors an especially varied program. And more than 40,000 people accepted VW's Autostadt invitation. Best wishes and that it stays as varied and as interesting as the last 10 years have been. After 10 years, one might think the concept was exhausted, but they keep pulling new things out of the hat. It's a place that radiates calm. When you come in from outside, you notice it's a different world. Of course, it's also a place where customers pick up their cars. But Autostadt's image today is dominated by art installations on the idea of mobility. The newest interactive project is called Level Green, conceived by a group of international artists to examine links between society and environment. In the course of these 10 years, since opening in 2000, we've increasingly turned this presentation of the company into an accessible place that touches on automotive themes in the widest possible way. In the center of the 25-hectare campus stand eight pavilions dedicated to the cars and brands ultimately under Volkswagen. Dramatic artistic presentations from Lamborghini to Bugatti. An auto museum is also part of Autostadt, and while the exhibits may not change, artists and performers are constantly transforming the spaces. More than 80% of what you see is new, developed in the last 10 years. Architecture is an important symbol for Volkswagen. But beautiful as it is, even more important are the people who come here. What's it about? What can I learn? What can I experience? For example, the Tunnel of Sense, an installation by the Danish artist Olafur Eliasson. Or the annual Movimento cultural festival, which brings together music, dance and theater. Last year, the rich offerings of Autostadt attracted more than two million visitors. I think the success is thanks to the dialogue, taking the visitors, the people who come here, seriously, looking at where they come from, what they're interested in, what is really relevant to their lives. Autostadt has something for everyone, a traffic training school for children, a rich variety of restaurants for the entire family. The kitchen at the Ritz-Carlton Hotel offers haute cuisine from three-star chef Sven Elverfeld. He uses only organic ingredients because sustainability and ecology are subjects that are becoming more and more important in Autostadt. We are the embassy, the pavilion, the potential. We are by far the largest public space where a multinational company comes in contact with its customers. And it will certainly remain our duty not only to adapt to the technical changes, but to actively be part of them and at times to lead them. Wolfsburg is celebrating the anniversary. Autostadt is still going strong after 10 years and promising more inspiration in the next decade in the evolution of mobility.